Hello beautiful people, it's me, it's me, it's HWG coming at you live at Smotter Champ Perch Challenge is in a John Cena and I don't know where he is but it looks like he's going to come out at some point drum roll please and here comes Tommaso Ciampa <laughs> finally 2k needs to fix that i don't know what's going on there and here comes cat angle the hardcore champion these guys have a rematch for the hardcore championship inside of a steel cage kick off friday night smack diddly down and it's Tommaso Ciampa with a huge knee in the corner and got cat angle right where he wants him but cat angle gets out of it Ciampa trying to escape the cage but to no avail cat angle launches him out the steel cage and down goes Ciampa and a huge knee from Ciampa down goes cat angle now launches him against the steel cage and Ciampa now in control over cat angle Ciampa now trying to escape the steel cage he's got it he's all like he was all the way up there but cat angle got him in time but Ciampa drops him down now Ciampa from the top of the steel cage looking to fly on top of cat angle and he flies off the top of a huge crossbody, my god, Tommaso Ciampa. If he's willing to do that for the Hardcore Championship, imagine what he's willing to do for the World of a Championship. And down goes Kurt Angle. And look out, looking for a fairy tale ending, dropping down Kurt Angle into the cover, hooks the leg on Kurt Angle, and Angle kicks out at 2.9. Following this, Kurt Angle now brings down the straps <laughs> to no avail. 2K6 fixed that as well, Jesus. And now going for a belly to belly, it was shut down by Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa now kicked in the midsection, looking for the fairy tale. No, no, looking for a project. Chopper! Shout out to Mauro Ronaldo and now climbing to the top of the steel cage. Can't go in trouble and Chopper's going for it again. This is all in the in the love of the hardcore championship. He flies and he misses completely and Kurt Angle now has full control of this match. Dropping down Champa now fairy tale ending connects to Kurt Angle into the cover, hooks the leg for the championship and again Kurt Angle kicks out. Champa doesn't know what to do now. But he's going through it again. He's going for it again to put him down the third time here tonight. The fa fairy tale ending to put away Kurt Angle. Is that it? And Champa has almost won the championship, but Kurt Angle kicked out. And Champa ends up escaping the cage anyway to win back the hardcore championship. Following this, Eddie Guerrero has a money bank qualifier against new rival Grayson Waller. And Austin Fury and Rey Mysterio are, are, are at ringside. And Guerrero now showing off some oh my gosh technical aspects and he drops some of the jump suplex off the top turnbuckle and went for the three amigos but Grayson Waller shut it down and now Grayson Waller then sends him off the ropes and a huge back suplex from Grayson Waller into the cover hooks the leg on Guerrero could this be it out of two and Guerrero, Guerrero out at two and Guerrero picks him up for a power bomb but Grayson Waller's having none of it huge right hands to Eddie Guerrero Guerrero is in massive trouble, rolls through, oh my god, huge super kick from Guerrero, and now into the frog splash, for the three count, Eddie Guerrero is going to money the bank, Xavier Woods and Eddie Guerrero are the first two participants in the six man money the bank ladder match, let's head over to the next part, and Shawn Michaels, oh my gosh, it's backstage, and someone threw a steel chair at him, and it's none other than Seth Rollins, <laughs> <laughs> and now Seth Rollins assaulting him after at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Shawn Michaels cost him the World Heavyweight Championship. Shawn screwed Seth. Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins is living. Shawn Michaels' reasoning behind it, he, he doesn't think Seth Rollins is World Championship material until he beats Shawn Michaels fair and square. Shawn Michaels throws against the guardrail and a huge super kick from Rollins and a curb stomp for desperate measures. And these two will meet at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view in a no-holds-barred contest. Up next, we've got Jimmy Uso, Jeff Hardy, Jay Uso, and the big red machine Kane. Widow takes on Gunther at Money in the Bank. Kane came so close last night at Extreme, sorry, the other night at Extreme Rules, and he's looking to get the chap this shot back by eliminating Jeff Hardy, eliminating Jimmy Uso. And now J Jay tried to eliminate Kane, but Kane was having none of it. Kane was on his game here tonight. A huge choke slam to Jay Uso and he eliminates Jay Uso. And Kane is going to Money in the Bank to take on Gunther once again for the Intercontinental Championship. And Gunther is here with the Intercontinental title and he smacks the title over Kane's head and drops him where he stands. Gunther standing tall over Kane here tonight. Up next, our main event Kane, Kane's brother, Undertaker, coming down. And taking on Batista in the main event here tonight. If Batista can get the victory here tonight, he will face Undertaker at the main event pay per view for the World Heavyweight Championship. Undertaker now looking for old school, and he connects, dropping down Batista. Huge right hand, and now Undertaker lefts and rights all over Batista, taking down the animal. The animal was in mass trouble with the Phenom here tonight. Now looking for a choke slam on Batista, and he drops him. Now looking for a Batista bomb. Look out, Undertaker, Batista Bomb connects. 
and now look out into the cover, hooks the leg, and Undertaker kicks out, and he flies to the outside, down goes Batista, and now looking for a tombstone, down goes the animal, into the cover, off the tombstone, to put away Batista, Batista putting up a hell of a fight, Go for it, going for it again, but Batista gets out of it, that's that time, and a huge bulldog on the outside to put him down, but Undertaker now, get himself, gets him in another position, to hit the tombstone power driver, and he connects, Undertaker with the victory here tonight to end Smack Diddley down. Batista will not have to get the opportunity for the world title at Money in the Bank. But I think this man will. At his edge. Edge is back in the WWE. And he is take, taking down the dead man. Edge is back. Edge is naming himself the new number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. What a way to end the episode. Sorry for the lack of uploads universe mode uh, last week. Has some personal things going on, but I am back with universe mode and we're gonna keep steam rolling this train. So, yeah, comment down below your favorite part. Please remember to like and subscribe. Comment always makes you feel the greatest, but yeah, hope you all have a lovely day.